Okay, here we are. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, J.K. Rowling. Performance by Jim Dale, of course, and unabridged on 17 cassettes. Now, isn't it funny how this is long and skinny? Like, they couldn't just make it like that. I don't, I don't know why they didn't do that, but whatever. All right, let's take a look at this. Um, what a way we're going to open this. It doesn't really matter what way we open it, but this is where you should open it. And having 17 cassettes in here means it might be divided twice. Nope, there's no divider at all inside of here. Well, if there was one, it's gone now. Let's take them all out. Maybe there's a picture on the bottom like the other ones. Yeah, look, it looks like it, yet. So many. It's a ridiculous amount. Okay. I'll put them on. I'm going to put them on over here. As you can see, it's, um... That's what it looks like. That's probably on the um, other box too. Yeah, I'm looking at the other one right now. It's on my it's in my basement. I have it up on like a display purpose and the Order of the Phoenix is the one sticking out in the Goblet of Fire. Okay. So it doesn't really matter if you put them in order or not, but I like to do it because it's a little easier to find them. Here you go. Well, that's pretty good. Put it like that. Um, now we're going to look at the next one which is number 16. Um, make sure it says Order of the Phoenix in the right numbers. It's kind of a pain in the ass, see how like they kind of fall. Lean them towards the other end of the, and they'll work fine. You got disc 5, I mean tape 15, can't call it a disc. Um, Order of the Phoenix, wow, 2003. So it was, that's a long time ago. Okay, <laughs> that's the end of that. Um, another Order of the Phoenix. So I've gotten pretty lucky here. It looks like most of the tapes are intact. Actually, not most, all of them. But don't put press your luck. I mean, you never know. Okay. Um, Order of the Phoenix here. You know, they didn't screw... You see, what they like to do is they like to list things where they put one of them as... They put the whole thing as cassette. This whole set wasn't. The last movie... I'm gonna be doing as a CD, so um, don't if you don't accept that um, you're kind of shit out of luck. You have to send everything back. They all, they're not gonna take the just one of them because they're gonna want the whole thing. All right, this is twelve. That looks pretty good. All right. I keep saying it over and over in my videos because I think it's important for people to know. Here's another one, eleven, the Order of the Phoenix. Yeah. I looked at this pretty good. The reason why I want you to, everybody to check them is to make sure they're not. Well, there's nothing you can do if they have problems already, but just to make sure if someone sells you something, it doesn't look like crap. Cassettes can last a really long time if you take care of them, just like laser discs and stuff. Um, okay, this is um, this is ten. My mistake. I just having a bad train of thought today. Um, yeah, order the Phoenix tape, tape ten. Stupid thing. Like I said, you're supposed to lean, lean, lean them over. See? Lean them over like that. But that's the wrong way. You don't want the tape to stick on top in case you spill something on the top of them when you open them up. So it's best to, to do it like I said. Tape 9 of Order of the Phoenix. That's that. Um, and that's that. No noticeable damage on anything. Thing. Okay, disc 8, I mean, not, why do I keep calling them discs? Cassette 8, um, J.K. Rowling, Order of the Phoenix. Now, I know I might make a mistake and I might find the wrong one and not know. Well, there's nothing I can do about it, but I try my best. Order of the Phoenix, tape 7. This is a long time ago. If you minus 3 from the year now, these are 20 years or more. It doesn't look like they were played. If they were played a million times, the inside of the tape would look icky and the outside of the tape would look turn colors and stuff, probably. So these weren't played that many times. Um, okay, it's tape 6, side A, Order of the Phoenix. Tape, oh. Yeah, whatever. I'm not worried if I put a bad tape in the um, cassette player because it's not the end of the world for me, but... It's not like if I put it into a VCR where everything could get destroyed. Usually you just pull the tape out. And I've already said that in previous episodes of this. 
Disc 5, I mean not disc, cassette 5 of Order of the Phoenix. Okay. Oh, look at that. See, this is the one's at the beginning. You can see everything's on one side, so that's why there's nothing on the side, this side of the tape. Except the clear film. That's where the tape begins. Side 4. The same thing is going to apply here. Just to clear, because there's nothing on there. Side 4, Side 4, Order of the Phoenix. Stupid thing. Alright. Now I'm starting to run out of space here. Side 3. Um, of Order of the Phoenix. I mean, taped cassette three. <laughs> um, yeah, this one's not totally rewound, I guess. A little while to go because you can see the film. I keep calling it film. Why am I calling it film? This is cassette. Whatever. Tape. Um, then you, um, yeah, here's a set tape two. Cassette, and that's that. Looks pretty good. This is the best way you can check tapes. I mean, I don't understand. You can check them. If people are really worried if it doesn't work in a certain spot, I guess you could fast forward and play. You know how long it would take to do that in the whole series, never mind just this one book. All right, um, tape one. Yeah, I'll go out of the Phoenix. Okay, I'm glad I'm done with the tapes now. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.